from Memphis, Tennessee for the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest. There's over 200 teams of barbecue aficionados competing for a $50,000 purse. Some people have called this Super Bowl of Swine, Mardi Gras, One King Hell, Redneck Picnic, all wrapped into one. We are here competing for the World Championship Barbecue. We have 236 teams that compete. We set up down here and for about four days we have a party almost around the clock. How the hell's it going? Why would someone want to come to this festival? To have a good time. And, and to watch the sunsets on Mississippi. Is that where the sunset? Yes. yes. I'm going to be too drunk to see you. You ever won any awards with your deer, your own? Oh, never. Never. Our only goal is to never come in last. Nothing more important to solve. Whether we go up on stage for yahoos, it's really not the point. Because I know what I'm cooking is so awesome, all my friends will eat it. This is the first barbecue so far. Doctor of the Blues knows everything about the blues that there is to know. It's going to give us a little tour of Beale Street. Land, baby, the one's home of the king and now the final resting place. Right there we got a case of ribs coming on. This is a recipe that goes back to my family close to two weeks. These are the guys we're gonna follow through the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest from beginning to end. I don't know about this. You know, it kind of spooks me. We did our serious face on. Yeah, the partying's Can over. Can I see a serious face? This is our, our second day here, and this is when the business really begins. Oh, yeah, this is all this the, is, about the cooking today. Serious stuff. Are you ready to run? Nine minutes, guys. Go. How long have you been a judge? I've been a judge about uh, 16, 17 years. If we're even a minute late, they won't accept it. Maybe that's a little too a little dark, dark, but, but not, not too bad. Oh, here's a great one right here. Get the line. Get the line. We might. Anybody ever slipped you a 20 or a 50? No, 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 no. It's all over. Had a long day. Everybody's just waiting to hear the announcement. I can't be more happy, and I'm so glad I can finally relax and drink a beer. Sauce people. Love sauce people. <laughs> Excuse me. You know it's Sunday and, uh, and the whole festival's over. Man. Do so you sleep through the whole thing? In a couple hours, this main stage area will be packed with people here to enjoy music, sideshows, and this incredible mountain air. So hang with us for the next half hour, and we'll show you what it is about this festival that attracts over 7,000 people to the little town of Quincy. The heart and soul of the festival is the music. Six months worth of music in about four days. A mellow vibe and, you know, people come just to be together. Just music everywhere. The non-stop music, which is, to me, the last drug on the planet. It's a real loose, comfortable kind of festival. I, I feel it to be very informal. It brings out great things in the musicians. It brings out a lot of jamming. The Joker is wild. And anything goes. They provide a lot of different experiences for the whole family. 
music. Music, camping, good ride. <laughs> Beautiful country. Right? Oh man, awesome. <laughs> village and unless you leave out that little road you don't you're encapsulated in this world you can drop into this world for as long and as hard as you want have you been grooving More and more people are catching on that there's a, there's a whole world of music out there. They've just got to go find it for themselves, and it's there. It's been four jam-packed days here at the High Sierra Music Festival. We've heard some incredible music and just had an amazing time. So, you know, there's really no way for us to show you everything there is to see here at the fest. You really have to come and experience it for yourself. Thanks for watching World Fest. We'll see you next time.